welcome to another battle arena here in your favorite Jurassic game, Jurassic World Evolution. Today, we have over a, well, I'd say over 130. We actually have exactly 130 participants going to be taking part in this battle arena, including the illustrious E750. We'll see how it stacks up in comparison to loads of other new mods that have been added including, I think, the infant T-Rex? <laughs> I think that was just a cosmetic. I can't remember now. <laughs> Maybe it's not in here. But E750s, as well as a bunch of other, so many dinosaurs, in fact, that I've had to release, you know, some peaceful herbivores, just as, you know, while things incubate. So we're doing this in the same kind of battle arena. I think that the Indominus Rex and uh, E750 and Indoraptor battled in. That's because, well, we didn't really get to see too much of this, did we? I mean, they were kind of like, okay, they're all dead. So I want you to place your bets. What new ones do we have? Uh, yeah, Carnotarchus, which is the hybrid from Jurassic World Live. I think that model may have been lifted completely from Jurassic World Alive because it looks very similar. <laughs> in fact, I think the person who did it said, oh, should I, uh, and we'll, we'll release it so we can see it. It's like, should I import more models from Jurassic World Alive? So maybe they have the capacity to do so. I assume they do because they've done it once. And there it is. Different color scheme, but look how gorgeous you are. And this thing, I mean, you may have seen its attack and uh, defense stats and stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna, you know, click on it again uh, in case you have to, you know, you gotta, you gotta wait to do surprise. Um, definitely one of my fan, what a favorite, a favorite for me that might win this. In fact, I'll say it is my favorite because I don't really know any of the other stats, but I do know that one. So I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say that's Beaver's favorite is that one. Uh, oh, look, they all seem to be fine. Moving out of the way. Lovely J Pog Kendra saw that. Oh, and there we go. I think that is the final dinosaur. I think that was the excavator after there waiting because those hybrids take forever to make. So if you bear with me two seconds, let's release everything. Together in perfect harmony. <laughs> So here is everybody as well as my amazing singing skills. Uh, I also want to mention that we've had some really uh, interesting news. Or well, it hasn't been confirmed or anything, but there may be a Jurassic World Evolution news uh, coming up soon. As in maybe a sequel or a game made by Frontier, uh, which is Jurassic related, but you know, not saying what kind of game it is. Because if, uh, before we get into this and while everything's still releasing, because there's multiples, um, in Frontier are coming to, I think it's the Gaming Summer Festival, which, uh, this whole section was not recorded before the E3 happened. Ah, but let's not forget the Jeff Goldblum hype, right? Put that clip in. That's right, it's mother freaking Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. Hell yeah! It looks like he's gonna be doing some special guestiness there. I wonder what he could be talking about. So looking very exciting. Uh, and this, you know, we are now approaching a year away from this sequel or the final installment in the Jurassic World franchise, Jurassic World Dominion. So around about a year away, I think we might start to get feelers coming out for either, you know, a trailer, a t well, not a trailer, a teaser. And I mean a very short teaser for the movie, as well as tie-in games and merchandise, which we've already seen. Um, and of course, you know, Jeff Goldblum, he's going to be in the film and he was in this one. So you don't know. We don't know. It could be. So you're saying there's a chance. It could be a push. It might not be. It could be a complete coincidence. But I'm just saying, there might be. There's a chance. I knew it. Time is confirmed. So we've got Hatsugoptrix. Uh, we didn't see too much of that one last time. Oh, look at there. Squawking at a Yoshi. <laughs> Who else do we have new? Who else is new? Oh, Megalodon now is its own thing. Look at him drinking there. Don't know if we're going to expect too much from a Megalodon. Oh, a very beautiful Saltosaurus. Wow, I love that. Bless it, running away. Oh, we've got, <laughs> we got an Ankylosaur running there. I'm sorry, do we not have... I mean, we might have two crocodiles again. Uh, a lovely Allosaur skin, my god. I have not seen him half of these. We got the Giga there, a Guanlon looking gorgeous, and a Margasaur, I don't think that's new. Monlophosaurus, a Gorgirosaurus, that's definitely not new. I remember people saying, no, that's actually what it's called, James. I was like, ooh, wow. Uh, we got the Scorpius Rex here. Oh, yes, we'll see how well you do. Ankylodocus, that weird isle hybrid thing. Oh, and a new one. 
We go walk with dinosaurs. Uh, Hophalmosaurus, <laughs> who is a carnivore. So it'll be very interesting to see uh, how this thing shapes up. <laughs> it looks so cute. <laughs> it's so adorable. I love the model. The model looks great. I love the colorings. I mean, I'm, I've always been in love with everything that was walking with dinosaurs ever since I'm a kid. And the designs, especially in the Cruel Sea episode, were beautiful. Like Plurodon and Ophalmosaur were gorgeous. And maybe we'll see a like Plurodon. Ooh, that would be quite cool. Whoever made that, go make that one. I'd like to see it. We've got a Uteranus here looking very stylish and colorful, as well as its own Dimetrodon has its own uh, sort of separate species now. Oh yes, Garfield looking great there. The chunkiest of chunks, the parrot. <laughs> we have, of course, still got toast. We have a, a Zun Chen Tyrannus making the beautiful Dino Crisis uh, calls there from the T-Rex. We got a Chilantiosaurus just clipping through a Camarasaur. There should be two of those actually. It probably is. Of course, that Mosasaur. We've got the bull thing. We've, what is this thing? The Goo. The Goo. Garbosaurus. Oh, look at it there. Ooh, I like its little proto feathers on the back of its head. Oh, you're like a zebra and a cheetah that's had a baby. And what is this? The Australovenator. Oh, okay. That, that's an interesting one. Australia loves a Saurus. <laughs> of course, we've got Monohorn over here, the Gigantoceratops. Uh, Yoshi's tongue glitching out over there. That's interesting. The beautiful Edmontosaurus skin. I love that. It's gorgeous. Klenikin as well. And we gotta give it up for the little babies of this arena, which probably won't last more than two seconds. Stuff like the Microceratus. Oh, a Smilodon there. <laughs> Just seeing you. And of course, stuff like the, um, the Sea Scorpion, the Patekokakurus, who is actually dying because it's, I think, panicking and God knows what else. At this point, there's so many freaking mods in the game, I don't even keep track of them. We've got a Tenotosaurus there. That's definitely not in the base game. And oh, we've got a beautiful, no, not you, Struthiamimus looking at his bottom. Look at that. Oh, it looks gorgeous. All feathered. Oh, man. Mods. I tell you what, if they are making a Jurassic World 2, uh, Evolution 2, they've got, a, they've got some stiff competition here. Of course, uh, Saurophagnex Maximus is back in it. Oh, that skin looks gorgeous. And Morlosaur, which was originally just a reskin for Indominus, has its own modifications too. So it'll be interesting to see if that can actually take on sauropods. Um, Acrocanthosaurus is moonlighting as a Dinocheris there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And plenty of others that we may be able to see during the battle. But without further ado, how about we get this party started? <laughs> and here we go! Now they should all be able to attack each other. And of course, Trunking Source, again, moonlighting as a, uh, another friggin' what you call it, uh, Demetrodon. We've got the Velociraptor from, oh, Lost World Velociraptor. Nice, I like that one. The Woolly Mammoth, and our first battle goes to a, oh God, it's that cheetah thing against a Dakota Raptor. What is that thing? Is it Utah? It's a Deinonychus. Oh God. Okay, we're gonna get battles. We're gonna see battles everywhere. We've already got a poison, so something with poison. We have a Velocir Oh, it's all the little ones. The Lost World Velociraptor taking on, uh, what is that? A Damiosaurus. I and mean, we can't really see it there because the tree's in the way, but I can't really move the tree. But, I mean, oh, are they calling it off? One's already starving, and it's probably going to go off to die. Uh, unfortunately, this thing, oh, bless it. <laughs> it's probably going to die. Maybe the raptor will die. Oh, God. We got a Suskitaranus against a Chiliosaurus, who apparently has one. Oh, I love that model. That looks gorgeous. Uh, oh, oh, was that something bigger? God knows. We've already got five plus deaths. Counted for. Oh, the Ophalmosaur is taking on the Spinosaur thing. Oh, it's on 45% health. It's gonna die. No. <laughs> it can't even blink. Oh, bless it. Taken out. There. Well, there you go. Fish eater, right? I'm okay with that. The Spinosaur can eat the fish. There's nothing wrong there. <laughs> what else we got up here? We got. Oh, Scorpius Rex not looking too hot. Is it hungry or thirsty? No, it's fine. It's probably going to regenerate. Uh, however, it has poisoned the Torovasaurus. <gasps> it actually lost, but it might win in, in general because that thing is poisoned. Oh, we got a we got a giga with a weird little lipstick there experimenting. And it has apparently killed the Ankylosaurus. Saltosaurus has died to whatever the press is. Um, oh, Indoraptor killing the Bananasaurus. 
Ooh, 50% help. Not too bad. We got another death over here. The Archeonathomime is killed by something. Uh, Uteranus is dying to... Ooh, is that the... Oh, it's a Coralosaurus with 56%. Wow, we need to get... In, we need some good shots. Let's get in the capture mode. Yes, that's much better. Gorgeous. I, I, we, this is like a neon battle. I did shuffle the skins around a little bit, and my god, <laughs> it is it is really showing us some of the uh, some of the more um, shall we say uh, vibrant skins. Definitely, I don't even think that's something you can have. It's vivid, isn't it? Vivid, vivid and vibrant. Oh, we got Toast has taken a little bit of a, a beating there. Megalodon looking okay. Oh no, Dimetrodon taken out by the Ichthobinator. I think that is. Have uh, we got any battles over here? Oh, Sora Pelt, it looks like it might have died. Oh, the Balururu. There's a Balururu. It's still alive. Oh, we got the Excavator Raptors still going. Still kicking with Jungasaurus. Oh, and the Carnotrochus thing, my favorite to win, is uh, is doing okay. In fact, it might have even killed whatever. Oh, there's some. Oh, oh the Diplocalus thing. They just, it killed him. <laughs> it killed Metrocanthosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, this is Metric. Look at it there, frisbee face, it actually won. That is amazing. So many deaths. Uh, let's let's get out of here for a second to see what, let's just jump to the battles as we can. Oh no, ooh, what is that? It's, oh, the poor lonely Trodons died too. The Gojirasaur, uh, however, it's poisoned. So the Gojirasaur is probably gonna die there. However, this isn't the first time I... Oh, Balurosaurus killed Aurorosaurus! Oh, the Balurosaur. Nah! Don't even know. It looks like it's, it's got like a little child-friendly face. It could be from some sort of cartoon. Maybe it's not even an actual dinosaur. And we've got the Taurosaur there as a stomper or whatever it's called, a charger. Uh, Spinoraptor. We don't normally see Spinoraptor looking too hot in these battles, but it's actually made it quite far. We had 130 combatants. Um, the, ooh, the Ty Tyranna Titan killed the already poisoned Taurobosaur. Uh, let's have a look. We had 130 to start with. We have now 67. We are down. Oh, no. Whoa, Kindrasaur killed Carnotaurus. No. Oh, man, I'm missing these amazing fights. Majungasaur taking on, uh, and actually, I think winning, or Albertosaur, it looks like it's doing pretty well against that. And Majungasaur is again another one we don't see too much of. Uh, Scorpius Rex taking down the uh, Nanookasaur. Could see Scorpius Rex at the, at, at, at the end of the battle. Uh, we got the Di Dinocaris, or Dinocaris, which really is an Acrocanthosaurus, taking on Indoraptor, looking like, ooh, ooh, I don't know how that one's gonna end. Is Indoraptor gonna die? Oh, okay, they're gonna call that off. Surely they're gonna call that off. Um, oh, Cyanoceratops, of course, didn't stand much of a chance. Um, oh, another kill. Uh, Chilantiosaur taking down the Moonlighting trunk Trunkingosaurus, as a Dimetrodon. T Rex against Spino, the grudge match to end all. Grudgy matches, again, in the freaking tree that is apparently. Uh, let's ch change that radius. There we go. Now we can actually see what's going on. Now let's get a good view. Beautiful. Beautiful. T-Rex. Haven't seen T-Rex in the final for a long time. Spinosaur? Yeah, actually. However, I don't know how this one is going to go. Oh, it looks like it's a victory to the T-Rex. And it is. My God. The paleo-accurate T-Rex, or at least looking like Sue, I think. I can't remember which one it is. Taking on... The paleo kind of accurate spino. God knows it changes every freaking two seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, we do have another. Oh, we've lost a triceratops over there. But there you go, too. How do you feel about that one? <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken. And on to the next battle. We've got the Excavaraptor against the Concavenator. It is already poisoned on 61, now on 22%. Concavenator, oh, sorry, Excavaraptor, not looking too hot. Um, that thing's probably going to go off to die now. But, hey, it could be in with a chance for the little cup. Um, we've got these. Oh, it's out! Oh, that is a favorite. The uh, Maximus, the Sorophagnus Maximus, is taken out by, uh, I think that is Tyranno Titan. That's, that's, that's interesting. Because normally that one kind of makes it to the end because I think that's got a poison bite, which it does. Oh, Molosaurus, who is poison, is doing its best to take out the sauropods. But there you go. Look, a sauropod's down, which is really a part of the But it's poison and possibly dying. Now, 
I have seen, and it was in the last battle video, an Indoraptor recovered from its um, its poison from a Scorpius Rex, or an Indominus Rex did, so maybe they're not the only ones that can. Um, Indoraptor taking a few hits from Allosaurus there, but I don't know if it's going to be the end for Indoraptor, because, ooh, 70%. It could be a win for Indoraptor, as long as Indoraptor's not starving. It's not. And they're calling it off. And they're going to fight another day. We've got a Stegoceratops on 100% walloping. Oh, it could be a win for the herbivores. Oh, this is interesting. And, oh, wow. Wow, that's impressive. Nozudo Ceratops takes it on. Oh, Alasaur coming through. Are we going to see the kill in slow motion? Well, not slow motion, but an actual kill. Wow, there you have it. Very rare to see a herbivore taking on a, uh, a carnivore. A hybrid, no less. I guess it is a hybrid in itself, I suppose. Uh, we got four poison dinosaurs now. T-Rex not stopping after killing Spinosaurus. Is now trying to take on the Acrocanthosaurus Daylighting and a Dinosuchus. And it looks like T-Rex may win this one. Ooh, St Stegosaur taken out by Coralosaur, who's on 100%. And I'm pretty sure Coralosaur has poison, which is going to give it the edge here. Oh, Carnotrochus taking on a Giga. Not looking too good for it, however. Only on 48%. But maybe that's just because it's had two bites against it. Scorpius Rex running around with, I think that was 100%, taking on, I think, something that might have poison over there. Um, oh! Now they comes at 45%. They may win. Carnotrochus may win. Will we have a herbivore winner? I do not know. Um, we got a poisoned uh, Caracaratosaurus. Um, oh, it killed Scorpius. No way. I thought Scorpius has 100. Scorpius is out. Now I think Scorpius just falls down. I don't think it has a killing animation. Oh, no, it does. Oh, beautiful. This is one of those weird new hybrids, and Scorpius Rex met its match against it, and also Carnotrochus took out Giga. Two hits from a Giga. Oh, or two hits from it to kill a Giga. Again, we are seeing some strange battles here. Strange things are happening to me. We got a Tyrannodon down. Oh, the Tyranno Titan that killed the uh, Cephalomachnus, whatever it was, uh, is dead. Um, do we still have any Indoraptors? Uh, oh, sorry, Indominus Rexes, we may. I don't know. I haven't seen one in a while. We've got a battle from Ichthyovenator against a Centrosaurus. However, on 45%, probably t says to me that it's probably going to die. I would say so. Oh, what are you? We've got an Ostroraptor. Uh, it's on 94% because it's a little bit hungry. Hopefully, it can scavenge something. Uh, and there it goes. Kind of saw that coming. Where is Indominus Rex? Did I just see it? Was it there? It is there. Oh, Indominus Rex on 99%. Is it hungry? No, it's not. It's kind of waiting for something to, to finish a battle. Or maybe it's waiting for this guy, the Chelantiosaur. That's a really freaking long tail and skinny little legs. Uh, T-Rex taking a well and rest. Um, so we've lost a couple of poisoners from the battle. Even though Ceratosaurus uh, killed Scorpius Rex. Scorpius Rex might be able to uh, finish it, but Scorpius only killed one dinosaur. Interesting. Oh, we got Allosaur against Sauronops. Interesting, interesting. 80% uh, against 100%. I would assume that the Allosaurus is probably going to lose. And down it goes. We've got a fight over here from a 100% Chilantiosaur against now a 45% Pachyranosaurus. And that goes down. Wow, commentating's hard. <laughs> Especially constant commentating. Allosaur goes down. Ooh. Chilan or Coralosaur has been one of... Or Ceralosaur. Being one of the last dinosaurs with poison. Uh, Majungasaur picking a fight with a woolly rhino. I uh, don't know if that was the most wise of ideas. As it's only got 22% health. And one more hit from the uh, woolly rhino probably will kill it. But they're calling it off. Woolly rhino wins. Garfield still just walking about there. Uh, we've got a dead... Oh, Diablo Ceratops. So the Majungasaurus killed the Diablo and went to fight off a woolly rhino. Probably not the wisest decisions. Um, T-Rex hadn't completely healed and is taking on a 100% uh, in Spinodoraptor. Can T-Rex make it? That was not a wise decision. Uh, unfortunately, the sea scorpion flipped on its belly and starved to death, apparently. Uh, <laughs> just right next to them. There wasn't enough water. Indominus Rex taking on Coralosaurus. Ooh! Oh, T-Rex taken out. Maybe we can get two battles here. One in the background and one up front. Uh, T-Rex, unfortunately, made it quite far. Made it to like 30 to 20-ish. 
and take it out. It killed, you know, it killed one Spinosaur. It, ca it can't kill all of them. And unfortunately, maybe it had 100% health. It would have done some damage. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, that is horrendous. That's gorgeous. And we've got the, oh, Indominus losing to the Soralosaur, so Coralosaur there. Indominus on 20%. I have seen Indominus actually survive a poison, but I don't know. It needs to go to sleep. I think that's that's the trigger. 50% uh, for the Coralosaur. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. We've got a lot of... Oh, Megalodon killed by... How many... How many... How many... How many... How many... <laughs> Indominus is going to sleep. Hopefully, we're coming in there. It's killed five... Probably sauropods if we if we have a look at it. Oh, Woosaurus actually fighting back against Ichthyovenade at 45%. That's usually an instant kill. He's just so chunky. Look at those eyes. They've seen things. Will it be able to survive? I don't think so. Ichthyovenade is one of those dinosaurs that has a lot of modifications. And of course, these have all been ran randomized. But if you don't have many modifications... Not really going to stand too much of a chance unless you've got a high base sort of attack and defense. And down it goes. But it did actually get a hit off. Commendable. Especially for a dinosaur that I was not expecting to do pretty much anything. So we still have the Chileantiosaurus, the Saurianops, the Inspinodoraptor, which took no damage from the freaking T-Rex. Uh, Coralosaur, which is a little bit injured. And I think Coralosaur may be the only one that can still do damage. Um, oh, sorry, poison. I'm looking for anything that's small. Oh, Diplocallus is still here. Oh, look at you. You bet We haven't seen you at all in all the other battles. Oh, Carnotrochus, that's it. 100% for the Carno. Oh, that's a win. That is a win. There is no way that Majungasaurus is taking on this beast. This beast of a herbivore with all of its health and attack. It's 100% health. You're on 22%. You've basically just signed your own death certificate. Uh, if that's a thing, do you sign? I don't know if you sign death certificates. <laughs> You're dead. I assume you can't. But it's pretty much dead. And it goes... Oh, bow, wallop. <laughs> and Carnotrochus wins. I'd love to know. How many kills do you have? You have two kills. Is that three or two? Yeah, two. Okay, Majungasaurus being one of them. And I think the Giga was the other one that it's killed, taking our dinosaur count to 23. Actually, a bit more than I thought we would have had. Uh, the Achillosaurus taking on the Inspinodoraptor, who, again, took no damage, and is probably going to be a two-hit kill there. Yep, there it goes. Oh, no, that was the battle. Okay, yeah. It's a shame. It really is that a lot of the herbivores just don't have too many modifications that you can add to them. Uh, oh, Chiliandosaur killed by Sauronops. Now, Sauronops might still be poisonous. Indoraptor. Oh, sorry. Spinoraptor killed. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it made it to the end, kind of. We've got... Oh, Diplocallus. No! What are you taking on him for? Actually, it's, it's even. It's 45 people. No. Oh, Diplocallus, you could do it. Are you even called Diplocallus? I'm just so used to seeing something like that and calling it a Diplocallus. Will the, the, the reptile fishy thing that can fight back against the fish eater... Can it do it? A 45% against a 45% and no, it dies. Bless, it's not even more than like two foot above the ground. Oh, oh. But you know what? It got him down to 45%. That could be a swinger. Uh, oh, an Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex? Ooh, okay. Indominus Rex, unfortunately, succumbed to the poison from the Soralosaurus there. We've got Sauropelter. I'm not expecting too much from a Sauropelter. Um, there was another little creature... Um, Karanosaurus, no! Killed, a died in a fight against Asabru. Asabru. Who's Asabru? I don't even know what Asabru is. Oh, that might mean that Ostroraptor has made it. Oh, it's got four kills? What? How did I not see you? Oh my god, I think you've won. I think you've actually done it. Ostroraptor has won the mini cup. I don't think there's anything that it can uh, face up against. I did not see that coming. We, we, well, I don't know about you, but I barely even saw that thing. Oh no! Oh, Stegoceratops died to Coralosaurus. Oh, that is a shame. I think now it seems to be possibly a fight between this Inspinodoraptor, well, possibly depending. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, in the Spinoraptor, Coralosaurus and Carnotrochus, the, um, the, the herbivore hybrid. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. We do have some survivors of the sauropods. We have the giant Mosasaurus survived. The Mementosaur, that's never won. And the Ankylodocus has also survived. 
Uh, we've got the Coralosaurus picking probably an easy fight. Oh! Oh! saying that. Oh! What? What? What just? What? Are oh, you freak? Guys, did you see that? That Coralosaur. Oh my God! It's just died to a woolly rhino. <laughs> what? That was a. I don't know what happened there. The Coralosaur had seventy odd percent, didn't it? Yes. It was like sixty to seventy, and it just went straight to one. Okay. Well, the woolly rhino has had, has only killed one thing. Uh, it's it starts on 86. And what did you have? Guys, I have no idea what happened there. I can't argue with results. It, apparently it did. It was like a one hit kill. It shouldn't have won. According to the data, it shouldn't have won. Oh, it used like horn drill or something. Jesus. Okay, so how many dinosaurs do we have? We have 16 dinosaurs left. I have 130 to start with. Um, herbivores can actually start confrontations. So maybe Ichthyovenator may be the next one. If not, the Indospino and Carnotrochus. Uh, oh, Garfield and Bepropos. Bepropos have survived. Oh, there it is. I was so confused. Carnotrochus. Okay, it's still alive and it's on 100%. Next battle against the... Oh, the woolly rhinos decide to just try it. Oh, no. Its whiteness is gone. <laughs> It scared the life out of it, scared the whiteness out of it, and then killed it. Bless it, the one hit kill just couldn't take on. Oh, wow, ooh, 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 a little bit closer there for comfort. I could smell the fishy on your breath. Wow, okay. <laughs> the woolly rhino couldn't actually hack the Indospino, but it, it could the Coralosaurus, which is interesting. Uh, Ichthyovenator taking on an easy fight, I would say, against the Sauropelta. Again, you know, most herbivores in this game do not have great modifications. Nothing I can do, unfortunately. They just don't. Uh, there may still be a mod to unlock all of the uh, all of the modifications for every dinosaur. Um, stuff that we still have in. Actually, we have we have 14 dinosaurs left, and one, two, three, four, five, six of them cannot fight. So six of oh yeah, Crossos is dead. So six out of 14. So do the math, eight dinosaurs left that can fight. Ichthyovenator, Carnotrochus, actually no, seven! Because Osteoraptor can't do anything uh. either because he won! So here we go, Indo, Spinoraptor probably just easily killing a Chasmosaur. Yeah, straight to 45%. Um, really you want these two to fight you. Oh, hold on! Ichthyovenator might be running for Carnotrochus. I think it might be. Are we going to fight here? Um, and there's nothing left that actually has poison. Scorpius Rex was killed quite quickly. Uh, ooh, there's a weird glitch there. Was it a rock? No, it's a rock. It's in the texture. Oh, we got a little territorial dispute. Uh, Osteoraptor, how many kills? You got four kills, 149, and 51 attack. Not bad. Really good for something that's like a small carnival. But we got Ichthyovenator. Oh, this is it. This is a big one. This is a big one. Ichthyovenator undefeated. Carnotrug is also undefeated. I think both of them have taken on substantially, um, pretty substantially tough opponents. Um, but I've definitely seen Ichthyovenator take on more. Uh, depends who gets the, uh, the first hit here. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's got a Drogus! I was hoping, I was hoping. Not because I wanted to win. I was just hoping. <laughs> but it could be. Ooh, it's even. It's even. If it was two hits from Conotrogus, that means it's very overpowered. Uh, oh yeah, the one dinosaur I didn't put in, even though I got 131 dinosaurs, is, um, oh, what'd you call it? Um, the ch Chunkingosaurus, not Chunkingosaurus, the Gigantospinosaur. I didn't put that in because, oh, we got, wait a minute, we got the Coffee and the Oberaptor. Oh, whatever that, oh, the Conotrogus killed it. Damn, how many, um, 50%. Whoa, what, what were you on? 164 and 91. Very freaking good. What is that, 200? Um, 35? Okay, well, we found out what's happened uh, with these two guys. Uh, the Oviraptor uh, tried to go for the... Uh, <laughs> what's this guy? The Micropachycephalosaurus. <laughs> uh, well, that's that one. Um, oh, no. Oh, well, who, who saw this coming? Critonosaurus, of course, didn't get a hit on. So we've got another two dinosaurs. We'll just say, in fact, actually what I can do is I can save it and then they'll reload. Um, 
and then over after can it be in with a chance so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna quickly save okay that should have knocked them out of it uh where are they oh yep yep there they are it's completely knocked them out of it unless something else is went to attack it oh Oh, wait, oh. <laughs> the Austroraptor now. Okay, never mind. The Austroraptor's now glitched. Brilliant. And now the Oberaptor's just going to go away um, to go and eat because I'm sure it's... Yeah, it's starving completely because it, it's just been glitched for ages. So yeah, there's only two combatants. This is the grand finale. Who will win? Carnotrochus or Inspinodoraptor? Now, it really comes down to if Carnotrochus can get its health back in time Oh, 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 this is good. This is good. They're having a little uh, dispute here. That's that's great. It's going to buy him some health. Um, if it can heal up to 100%. And then it's really going to be down to whoever has the most attack and defense stats. Which will be very interesting because I don't think Indospinoraptor can kill. Even though it looks like it could very easily just jump on the mammoth and kill it. This game doesn't work like that. You can't do that. It's to get the rules. Oh my god, here it goes. The final battle. I just can't trucus. Can't trucus is on a hundred percent. Oh, and I don't even know how to navigate the menus. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Ooh, who's gonna get a hit first? It's gonna be interesting. Oh, Indo Spider up to hits first. Does that mean it's gonna win though? Ooh, ooh, not a scar on him though. Not a scar on him. I think it looks like Carnot Trocus has scars. Whoa, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Are they, they going to move? Okay, they're moving. Oh, they're moving the right way. Oh, good. Oh, good. Because otherwise it looks terrible. Oh, another bite. Is it down? Oh, wow. Indo Spider Raptor takes the victory. I was really hoping. I was really hoping. I was hoping so much that Carnotaurus would win. And there you have it. It only did 71 damage. What was its stat? 218 and 146 against 175 and 113. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it didn't stand a chance. It had more attack, more defense. Wow. Wow. Glitching through the rock. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> So there you have it, guys. We have our victor. The Indo Spider you said Indo Spider after well, you, you, you win self-respect. There you go. You, that that's that's for you. And in total, the final tally was ten dinosaurs made it to the final. Um, two of them probably shouldn't. So really, we'll say eight. Uh, over after and the microbe. Pachycephalosaurus should have maybe died, um, but the winners Garfield, Mosasaur, Mementosaurus, um, Briveraparops, which is not the first time it's won actually, uh, Ankylodocus, uh, which I think it is the first time that's won. Oh, and the Mammoth. Who can't forget little said old Mammoth? But there you have it, guys. That was an interesting one. Did not expect. I think the biggest turn for me was when Woolly Rhino killed Coralosaur. That was like, what? Completely out of left field. But th that's the way it goes sometimes. No idea why that happened. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.